How's it going my foobles? Welcome to Dining Fables, the food channel for going local to eat global. Okay, so foobles, what do you think? I'm trying out a new term for my viewers as I've really never been that keen on the word foodies. I'm sure like most of you watching this, I'm definitely a food lover and I've worked in the industry for years if you don't know I'm a food photographer, but the term foodie has always been a bit like fingers down the blackboard for me. So as this is my new channel, I'm taking the opportunity to rebrand it. I'm calling the term foobles or food people, a mixture of the two. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So this week I want great independent pizza cooked with passion by people who know what they're doing. A 10 minute Google search and I came across Presto Italian in Maidenhead, which certainly seems to fit the bill. Opened in December 21, their goal is simply to create the best pizza you've ever tasted. A big claim, but I do love those that aim high. Let's check out their website. Here we go. So what do they say? At Presto Italian Street Food, we focus on the highest possible quality throughout. In doing so, we highlight the relationship between the finest Italian ingredients and the care and attention to detail we put in to make each and every Presto pizza. Such a great sentiment. Let's just hope it lives up to it. Okay, so they're on all the delivery sites. That's helpful, as I am local. Right, onto the menu. Wow, that's a lot of choice, and choice you don't often see, such as roasted aubergine, or shuffle truffle, lazuca with sweet pumpkin base. Oh, that sounds amazing. And what's this? Mortabella with mozzarella, gran padana, mortadella, and crushed pistachio. It's <laughs> a new one on me. But I think I'm going to go for a classic pepperoni, which I know might sound a little dull. I like to think of myself as a bit of a pepperoni expert, as I've had plenty of pepperoni pizzas in the past. So I'll be able to use this as a good reference point on all the other ingredients, like the base, sauce, cheese, and herbs. I do like it when a food business takes the time and effort to explain their philosophy and process behind what they do. I'm sure I'll touch on that later on in this fable. Oh, it says here we love what we do. That's great. Oh, and they make them in front of the guests. Oh, I do love a bit of theatre when it comes to cooking. And they've even got stuff here about the environment and their packaging. That's always great to see. Okay, that's enough of the virtual world. Let's head out into the real world. Let's eat out. According to the website, Presto cook their pizzas in the Napoli style. What's Napoli pizza style, I hear you ask? Well, another quick Google search later, as I didn't know, tells me that a Napoli style pizza is a style of pizza made from tomatoes and mozzarella cheese. Now that's probably not a surprise to any of us, but these tomatoes must be grown on the volcanic plains of the south side of Mount Vesuvius. The mozzarella must be made with milk from the water buffalo, or Fiordalette, a cow's milk mozzarella created according to a specific procedure. The website also states they use the Torrance Italian tomatoes, which are a high quality authentic tomato and are used in millions of Italian households every day. Well I think it's safe to say that it certainly smells amazing, and I just can't wait to get stuck into it. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that's a really crispy base. Look at that snap. So what to look out for with good pizza? Naples or otherwise. Firstly, look at the crust and the border of the pizza. If it contains a lot of air, it'll be light and crisp and taste amazing. I think it's safe to say that's a check for the Presto pizza. Oh yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Delicious. If it's full of dough and heavy, it means the pizza has not been leavened properly, and that's certainly not the case for this. I even filmed the bottom of the pizza, and from that you could tell that it was still crispy even after having all the sauce on it. The next thing to think about on the pizza is the balance, and that's the ratio of tomato and mozzarella, or toppings on the pizza in general. This is really important. The topping should complement the base of the pizza. You shouldn't think about dough as a blank canvas, it's actually the foundation of the pizza. If it's not good then there's no topping in the world that can save it. The topping should enhance the base and harmonise perfectly with it, without taking over. It might be a strange thing to say, but too many toppings on a pizza are not good, and especially if it's meat, it can make it way too greasy. Thankfully, Presto have got this just about right again. I especially love the addition of the fresh basil. It gives the sauce a delicious hit of freshness. Another thing to think about is the cheese, as it's essential not to overcook it. And that's especially true when it comes to mozzarella, as you can tell when it's burnt and when it's not. A good pizza does not have burnt cheese on the top. You also want to try and avoid a pizza that's covered with orange grease. And this mainly happens because the tomato mixed with the cheese. It's a sign of the imbalance of the ingredients. Really any cheese on the pizza, especially mozzarella, should be just enough to lightly cover the top of the pizza without mixing into the sauce. Another indicator of a good pizza is the colour of the tomatoes. You're looking for a bright red, which really will give you a good indicator of its freshness and its sweetness. Having fresh basil in this is unbelievably good. I didn't realise until actually watching them do it that they put the basil on before cooking. They can do this because of the screaming hot Fawnsy pizza oven, which means a shorter cooking time. I think mine was only about 90 seconds. The result is that the basil remains moist and really, really flavoursome. Guess these things are classic for a reason. A pro tip here, an authentic Neapolitan style pizza is never topped with a cooked sauce, which is something I've certainly been guilty of when cooking pizzas at home. I think it's safe to say I can give Prestos another tick here, as their sauce has maintained its redness and therefore its flavour. It's utterly delicious. 
just a couple more slices to go. Right, while I finish this off, I really want to try and get some help. I'm actually on the lookout for some future ideas for Fable videos, and would love some input from you, my fooples. So, is that name growing on you yet, or is it making you want to gouge your own eyes out? I'm not sure yet. I see lots of videos on Insta and YouTube for top 5 burger joints or top 5 sushi restaurants or top 5 restaurants in London and I was wondering if this kind of content would be more interesting to you guys on the local level. So any ideas or venues to visit, please drop a comment below. So what's my takeaway from Presto's this week? Well, I've been very pleasantly surprised by the quality and authenticity of their Napoli style pizza. Compared to many of the other pizza chains in made here, they really are streets ahead. In fact, it's inspired me to go out and try some more of the local Italian restaurants in the area to see if they can compete. Perhaps that could be an idea for a further video. Let me know in the comments below. One of the other things I really loved about this was watching the pizza being cooked in front of me by the super friendly staff. It all added to the experience. So would I recommend this to anyone in Maidenhead who fancies authentic Italian pizza? Absolutely I would. Check them out and get involved. Mm -hmm.